April 8th will be a very special day here in Buffalo. We are planned to be in the path of totality for the solar eclipse. My name is Regina Cooper. I'm a third year medical student at the Jacobs School of Medicine and Biomedical Sciences. I'm hoping to become an ophthalmologist. And on that day, all of our public schools will be closed. So I asked one of my professors, Dr. Andrew Reynolds, who is a pediatric ophthalmologist here in Buffalo, how can we keep kids safe during this once in a lifetime event? The totality in Buffalo is when the moon will directly block the sun's rays and you see the corona or flares around the edge of the sun. That is the only time that it's safe to look directly at the sun without protection. That will last approximately three minutes from 319 to 321 p.m. The rest of the time, it is not safe to stare at the sun under any circumstances without your NASA approved solar eclipse glasses. Wow, I actually didn't realize that that potentially damaging portion of the clips last that long. So are kids more at risk of causing permanent damage to their eyes during the eclipse? Kids are in fact at a little bit higher risk for a couple of reasons. Number one, their optical system is better at focusing light. They don't have early cataracts. And so the same amount of light transmits better in a child than it does in an adult. And the more obvious reason is kids can't be trusted to keep their glasses on. Their risk aversion is gonna be lower. I do remember this one time when we were in clinic together, we saw a child that had a laser pointer burn to his eyes. Is this the same kind of thing? Laser burns are almost identical to the damage that is caused by the sun. Uh, we use lasers in ophthalmology all the time. Uh, the big difference between us and the sun is that the ophthalmologist is using a very delicate uh, laser that is precisely aimed. Unfortunately, when we look at the sun, you are aiming the center part of your vision or the fovea, which is where your 2020 vision comes from. You're aiming the sun right at that area. Okay, I see. So, Dr. Reynolds, is there anything that you want parents to know in order to keep their kids safe during the eclipse? So most public schools in Western New York will be closed and so will many businesses. So you have to make sure that your kids are closely supervised and are wearing their glasses. These glasses are extraordinarily dark, number one, but most of them are built for adult faces. So to fit them on a child, a couple extra pointers are needed. The Eclipse glasses are built for adult faces and are mostly one size fits all. So when viewing with a child, make sure that they have a proper fit, or if you're concerned about that, a little bit of tension on the temples keeps the eyes occluded uh, for the safest viewing experience.